Hi, and welcome to Let Play Dreams, a vlog about antique lenses and cameras. My name is Dennis and I'm, I'm the host. Today we're going to talk about Porsche Petzl lenses. I think most of you already heard this uh, term or name. There is not one maker, but it was a layout that was adopted by quite many makers all around the world. So if we are talking about a Petzler lens, uh, we are talking about a special layout, not about a optician or maker who made lenses. Here we have a fine specimen of a portrait Petzler lens. The maker here is Hermagy. And it's a fantastic uh, lens in a really good condition. And we are going to talk about the basics today. Um, because most of you or many of you won't know um, the basic layout. And when you buy a lens, like let's say on eBay or somewhere else, um, the chances are quite high that the uh, lens elements are not aligned properly. So let's talk about the layout. The Petzl, or let's say the portrait Petzl layout, consists of two glass cells, one in the rear and one in the front. Let's just take off the lens hood so we have a better view. So the rear cell, the front cell. And in the center or around approximate center, you have the water hose slot here. So let's take the lens apart. If you're lucky, you can unscrew both uh, optical cells. Sometimes they also can be stuck or glued together or damaged and you cannot actually unscrew them. But yeah, sometimes you're lucky and it's possible. So you can open the front cell and we will find an optical doublet. An optical doublet is uh, two glass elements cemented together. We have in the rear the flint and in the fr uh, front the crown element. The crown is the curved element usually and in a standard layout the crown element should face the front outside of the lens. As you can see this lens has actually marked elements. Mostly French makers did mark the elements in the glass. So it says, let's see if you can focus it. Yeah, 8073. As you can see, it says Himaji Paris. As mentioned, the crown should face to the front of the lens. Let's screw it back in. And uh, let's take a look at the rear cell. You're lucky here again, you can unscrew it. It's not always the case. As with the front in the rear, we have also two glass elements but they are not cemented together, uh, but rather air-spaced. Usually makers uh, use the metal ring for that. We will see this layout here. You have the crown element, the metal spacer ring, and the flint element. In the rear, the flint element um, shows towards inside of the lens, and the crown is in the rear. 
I think the rear glass is also marked here by Hermagy. It's not always the case, but with French makers you might find you might be lucky. So this is the optical layout, the standard layout. There is also a slightly altered layout by Dahlmeier. Uh, Dahlmeier did switch the flint and the crown element in the rear. So the flint was actually in the back and the crown was inside. But usually the, da the Dahlmeier uh, lenses and most of the makers which did adopt this layout uh, used cased element. Cased elements means the elements are attached to the metal parts. So you, you might unscrew both parts, but you cannot actually take out the glass that easily. Let's put this one back in. Let's take a last look at this specimen. The focal length is around 150 millimeters. And I would suggest using this lens nowadays for formats up to 4x5. So this is the Hermagy lens. The next lens. was made by Dallo Paris, also one of the most known French makers. The focal length is around 220 millimeters and I would suggest using these lenses for formats up to 5x7. Again, if you want to see the Petzl character. Let's go to the next size. This one is again slightly larger as you can see. Um, this is uh, the most famous Dahlmeier 3B. Again, really nice condition. The glass is really clear. No haze, no separation. Here you have the soft focus adjustment. The rack and pinion working completely. And this one also comes with an uh, original iris, which is still working today. I would suggest using this lens for formats of um, up to 8x10. So, and here we have the next lens. Again, slightly larger, as you can see. I think we have to zoom out. Here we have a lens with a focal length around 500 millimeter. It's made by Hemagi. It doesn't feature a waterhouse slot because it was made uh, before the invention uh, of the waterhouse slot in 1858. So the lens was made around mid 1850s. It shows a really nice patina and the glass is also quite clear. But this is still not the end for today's video. We have one more lens left and again this one is slightly larger than the last one. This lens has a focal length for, of around 600 mm and it was made by Balzl in Baltimore. Balzl was an Austrian immigrant who made quite some fame and fortune um, over in the US, in Baltimore. So, those are the lenses for today. 
Um, the Weitzel is already sold, but the four other lenses are, are at this moment still available in the web shop. I hope uh, you gained some insight into the Petzval layout and I hope you'll see us in the next video.